my hope today is not that we'll end up all being masters of Takemusu Jiwaza Aiki, but that you'll have enough of an understanding in yourself to create a practice by which you can further develop your ability to do. And then what are we talking about? Take, you said, was martial of the, like I said, of the practical world, of the functional, you know, that, that which nurtures and protects uh, life itself, you know, really. And musu is that which gives birth to it. And literally is also the word for that. But, but to me, um, it implies the f creation itself, the force of creation, okay? that it creates, and of course everything in the take, in the lineage of the martial, it creates infinite martial forms. This distinction between who you are or who you think you are as you're talking to yourself about reality, and then there's your experience of reality. And so you can put your attention or invest in your descriptions of your experience, your story. And most of us invest in our stories by repeating them over and over again. And that's why we kind of think we know who we are. May I pause one second? Uh, there was a story Bob told, I've heard it a few times. Was part of during his thing. He's, he was into judo at the time, and he got into y yoga, uh, Walt Baptiste or whatever. And, he, and Baptiste was in meditation. And Bob said, one of the times when he went, he went to meditation class, and then he went to judo class, and he was just like in another dimension. He was not was quite that strong, but he was like he just said it really affected it. There was some some. Am I making sense to y'all? There's something about that state shift that's so important to the, all the stuff you see out here. I, w I worked with an oil executive in, in Texas and I was coaching him in this kind of consciousness work, not Aikido or anything, but, but um, and he called me up one day and he was just telling me what a great day he just had in his meeting. He just said, I called by the right time. He did the, said, you know, and he said, but what's the consciousness work got to do with this? Ah. You know, now Bob, the second he had that experience in judo, he knew there was some connection. He saw something and it changed the way he studied and then he got into Aikido and I think it changed the way he taught.